afternoon on Wednesday, and we're standing out here in front of an honest-to-goodness Los Angeles landmark. And I'm standing with the owners of this landmark, John and Bill Bender. And the landmark really needs no introduction to people who have lived in Los Angeles a long time. Is it properly pronounced Felipe or Philippe's or... I say Felipe. Felipe. Yeah. But it really can be pronounced any number of ways. I really don't care how the people say it, just as long as they keep coming. Okay. And they have been coming. Oh, for years and years and years. For a long time. I was here 35 years before I retired and turned it all over to them. Uh-huh. And uh, they were coming then and they're coming now. Welcome back. We are in downtown LA on this mid-March morning. Directly across from Union Station and world famous, the original Philippe Sandwiches. Now, if you know LA, we're right below Chinatown and Dodger Stadium. This place has been around since, I believe, 1951. Well, it's been around since 1918. And they're known for their French dip sandwiches. I mean, they do them in pork, lamb, ham, beef, I believe chicken. And the story to it is a police officer working the beat back in the day was getting a French or just a, a, a sandwich. Now the sandwich fell in the gravy and he said, you know what, just use the bread. Just go ahead and use that sourdough bread. And that was how the original French dip sandwich started. And since then he brought his friends back and then the next day they all came back here and then it's been uh, known since then. So we're gonna go inside, check out Philippe's French dip sandwiches. I'm gonna get some breakfast, probably get a sandwich to go. One of my favorite Fuel Hauser episodes is just right inside here. So let's go see how amazing. Like I said, we're gonna head inside. It's raining. We're right off Orange Street, and there it is Philippe's hand dip sandwiches. Now, this used to be a machine shop. Upstairs was a uh, hotel, too, but we're gonna. Enter here and it's open daily from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Ready? All right, this is our first look. So right now it's not so busy, but this is cool. They got the old phone books, or phone booths. All fleet and the Marlin. California living. 30 second service for 3,000 customers a day. And famous Philippe. So they have these people waiting here. You just tell them what you want. Get in line and go ahead and grab it. And so, yeah, like I was saying, they're all known as carvers up there. Then they, what they would do is they would carve your sandwiches back in the day. And we'll take a look at the menu. So they got the beef dip. Here, let me get closer. Beef dip, the pork dip, the lamb dip, New York pastrami, ham dip, turkey dip. They also have breakfast over here. I believe the coffee is still. Last time I saw it, it was like 46 cents. They also got some of their desserts and their coleslaw right there. They also do pig's feet. I forgot how many they do, but they do a heck of a lot of pig's feet, they said, and they have some. They move on down. Pickled eggs and beet juice. Plenty of beer. And, like I said, we're right down the street from the Dodger Stadium, so Leafs has been a proud fan. A lot of people come here before the game, grab a couple beers, or just uh, a friendship sandwich before you pay stadium prices, so... Circus trains. That's interesting. That's amazing. I'm standing in your way and I apologize for that. They've got work to do. They're dipping. Oh, she's getting ready to dip. Louie, come over here. She's going to dip. Come on over here, Louie. There she goes. Dip one. Then she slices it. Dip two. Then she slices it. She's got two plate loads. Let's see. That, can we take a look at them? There they are. Oh, they look great. Who came 
up with the idea of dipping. Well, the way the story goes, Felipe was uh, in the deli business, and he was preparing lunch for a, a policeman, and apparently the sandwich fell into the gravy, and the policeman told him that he would take it anyhow. And uh, the next day he came back, he said, that was so good, would you, could you have that happen again? And that was kind of, as I understand, the beginning of the French dip sandwich. So it really started as by an a mistake, By a mistake. Yeah. They also got a self-serve counter here, too, which you don't always see. French dip sandwiches. Right. Check out their wall of Dodger bobbleheads. No Tawny yet, but there's an the organ player. Dustin May, Mookie, Freddie, and Philippe. Pretty cool. Look at that, Philippe. Peanut guy. A couple autographs in here, but yeah, just an overview of this place. Rain is really coming down. They were saying that it was a 35% chance of rain today. This is a sight you just don't see here. Is nobody in line? Let me try to back it up some too. There we go. Just want to show you this how they serve your food. So you grab your entree and then you head it on back. All right, so this is what we're doing with. We got the toast. Wait. We didn't get any pancakes. All right, got the ham, that. I gotta go grab the pancakes. So for everything that we got, it costs $31, which we got a lot of stuff, huh? Right, two coffees, ham steak, omelet, toast, hash browns and pancakes. So all in all, not a bad deal. You know how you know it's a good coffee? This one's not too watered down, but you do this. Yeah. You gotta look at it, and that's how you know it's good. So before you can leave, you can grab a couple of these little mementos, but $5 minimum car payments. That's a pretty cool shirt up there, the classic Philippe's one. And here's some of the old, wow, the old counter. I think I'm more fascinated by that, but they also have the stickers and Dodger Gummits, but we're gonna make our way out into the rainy day. All right, made our way outside. Starting to get a little busy in there as the rain continues to fall on my phone. The 100th anniversary, 1998 to 2008, Philippe the original. And like I said, it was a a hotel up there at one time. I know what some of you are probably gonna say in the comments, that the rain continues to fall, but you went to Philippe's and you didn't even get a beef dip? I know, it's still pretty early. Not this time, I will be back though for the beef dip. I, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy places that are hundred years old as well. And uh, yeah, it's uh, gonna be an interesting day in LA, that's for sure. We're gonna make our way back to little Tokyo, go do some things over there, man. See you next time. Great. Start heading our way back to the car real quick. I thought I'd show you this Mama Lou's dumpling house. Gonna go get some uh, dim sum to go too, but oh, this guy's all ready. But directly across the street, I wanted to show you guys this too. At the Korean barbecue, we will rise above. A picture of Kobe. One more. There's no shortage of those around here, that's for sure. And Philippe's ham dip. Okay, so directly outside of Philippe's, if you make a left, make another left. Well, there's a graffiti yard. And then you'll come down this street and you'll be right in Chinatown by the Dynasty Center. But if you want some Wan Kok Center restaurant, this place right here, the dim sum, can't be beat. I'll get up there and show you the menu too. And uh, it's right off Alpine Street. This is the place to go. And as you can see, it opens at nine and the line's already long.
We're starting. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Huell Hauser, and here I am eating my salad. I've got lots of lettuce here. There's some chicken on the top. It's mixed in with a light vinaigrette dressing. This is all part of a promise I've made to myself to eat in a more healthy way, a better diet. And what I've done, I've cut way back on my red meat. I've cut way down on my carbohydrates. I don't eat much pasta, much bread. I don't eat.